Good evening and welcome back once again. So if you joined us in the last match you would have seen a really closely fought victory. We had to go to extra time to beat Athletic Bilbao in the cup. Bajer coming on making a difference. Arca switched it up top mid game and they combined for both goals. Bajer getting two assists and Arca getting two goals. We are playing Real Oviedo today. It's a clash of second place so it's going to be a tough match. Let's jump in to see who's going to start. Okay, so this is the team we're going in with today. We are bringing Bajer in, and we're actually going to bring him in a central role. Um, I was thinking of changing him to attack midfielder, so we might do that. No, I think I'll keep him as centre mid. Jerry might come on, yeah, for Hitch, because they're both on flashing, so you want to play them when you can. And uh, Alcas, I think we'll keep on the left-hand side. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hopefully Xerxes can continue some good form. And here it is, we're back at home. It's going to be a tough match against Real Oviedo. Let's see how we'll get on. Really hope we can put in a good performance. You know, Xerxes was on really good form and then the past couple of matches just as a team. We've been struggling a bit, but um, you know, we've got through. Admittedly, we were playing a Division 1 team in the last match and we came through. So we're into the next round of the Copa del Rey, which is great. Good start on the left though, Xerxes, ah straight to the keeper. But early doors were, already got a chance. Xerxes doesn't seem too bad with his head actually, he seems to, I'll have to check his stats some way, but he seems to have a good leap on him. Nice play from Ericsson there. A nice ball to Arcas, the star of the last match, man of the match, although Bajer just the passes he was playing was just brilliant. Here's Carlos Perez. Nah, trying to be too too clever. Quit inside. Nice uh, tackle though. Oh, Bajer trying to play Arcas in. Oh, could be back in though. Ah, Vieira loses it. Yeah, Vieira hasn't been playing as, as best, I would say, of late. And neither has Herrera. So... That midfield has suffered quite a bit just because there are two stars in, in those roles. You know, normally whoever will play in defensive mid is one of the the um, the default players, the original lineup rather. Um no the default players might in the first time. And they're they're not the best, you know, sometimes they have good games. Joey Rice has, a, has had a couple of good games actually. Um maybe think we should move him in instead of Hetich like permanently. Nice tackle though. And Vieira's got it now. Now, has he got anyone he can play it to? Got Carlos Perez on the right here. Ah, I've lost it again. No, managed to get it back. Somehow again. <laughs> Don't know how I kept that. Bajer. Oh, nice ball. Ah, it's blocked. That was a genuine block that time, but like I said before, if you put shots in anywhere sort of outside the box, they tend to get blocked sort of. 80% of the time, 90% of the time. Yera. Ooh. Well, that one didn't get blocked and it made its way through. A fairly easy save for the keeper, but um, decent shot. I think Vieira, when he first signed the first few matches, he was involved in almost all of the goals. He was getting assists, he was getting goals. And it's just dropped off a bit. And it just goes to show that. You know, we do struggle when one, one of our star, one or two of our star players don't perform really well. Um, you know, the, the quality of the rest of the team is lacking a lot of it, which is understandable. And we knew that, and that, that's what I like about the challenge of starting the Master League with the uh, with those default players. Ooh, I thought that might have been a foul, but yeah, he probably won it cleanly there. Oh, guess just dwindling on the ball a little bit. Dwelling on the ball, not dwindling. Ah, lose out there. Yeah, our central defenders as well, they lose a lot of balls in the air. And, you know, that second ball, we're not getting to. Bryce had a really good game in the last match. I thought he deserved better than a six, I think he got. Can he put in a decent ball? It is, oh, but somehow Carlos Perez doesn't go for it. I going to try and go for a volley there. Maybe it wasn't 
quite as near to me as what I thought. Um, transfer wise, who to prioritise? I mean, obviously, we want to permanently sign Herrera, that's a given. I know he hasn't been playing maybe the best in the past couple of matches, but chance here though. Oh, Zixi. And again. Oh, oh. Well, I didn't mean to tackle him, I was actually trying to shoot. Oh, it's getting a yellow as well. well that was unfortunate. I, just one of those things, I held square to shoot and he's um, sort of slid in and caught him. Fair enough, that was a yellow, but I wasn't trying to actually tackle him. Um, but yeah, we, we want to sign Herrera permanently. He is class and he, he will, you know, pick up that form again at some stage. And then it depends how much we're left with in terms of salary by the time January comes around, or at least the end of January even, can we sign maybe one more player? Or are we going to have to dip into the youth squad? Because bear in mind, if you sign players from the youth squad, you still have to pay their salary. It's a very small amount compared to, uh, you know, say buying a player. Or oh, good save. Good save. Whenever our goalkeeper's been called upon, he's always been very reliable. In fact, when he first started, he had some world-class saves. Um, hasn't hasn't had to be called on in the past couple of matches too much, but yep, first chance there, and he's he saved it well. Yeah, anyway, back to the youth players. Um, yeah, normally their wages are maybe I want to say like between a hundred and two hundred, somewhere like that. And this is one of the really low ones. Like often, central defenders are uh, lower wages just because technically they're they're normally less overall even if they're pretty good defenders whereas if you're going to buy oh, that was poor and there it is it's half time I think we'll just jump into the second half um, clearly one top but not too much doing let's have a quick look actually well possession 59% a little bit less than we normally have but still very much in control yeah here we go the second half but just as I was saying at the end of the first half there, if you go to buy a normal player, even one that's not extremely highly weighted, but you know, the likes of players that we bought, their wages are going to be, you know, above a million, you would say at least. Um, chance here for Vieira. Ah, it's blocked again. I don't know why I tried from distance, although I have scored some, so. Right, can I play in zone? Nice ball. Oh, well defended though. I think I always pronounce his name wrong. I think it's Sanun, but... Yeah, Xerxes hasn't had much of the ball recently. Nice tackle. But actually, Bouget hasn't been as influential in this game. He is playing in a central, more central role. Oh, nice ball. Carlos Perez. Oh, I've just got caught under his feet. Can I squeeze it in? Ah, it's wide. Probably shouldn't have gone for that. I maybe should have played it in the box. I think even if I hit that on target, the keeper would have had that covered. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, the keeper's work got that well covered. It's getting a bit, uh, a little bit nervous now. You know already in the second half getting towards that 60 minute mark where we'll be looking to make some changes um, hang on could we chance for one two here Xerxes oh it's a poor pass I should have maybe went for the shot I was just trying to play a nice little ball in but it had to be weighted perfectly which it clearly wasn't again we'll lose out that uh, lose out the aerial ball I mean, it was Bajero, who's a fairly smallish player. Orgas could be in here, though. Star of the last match. Oh, that's a poor touch. Managed to keep it. Zugzi. Oh, it's deflected. Could have went anywhere, but it's been in the keeper's arms. We'll try and make some changes the next time the ball goes out, if we can. Again, we we'll lose that ball, but we managed to win the second. And here's Rice. He seems to be pretty reliable in, in midfield. Carlos Perez, what can he do here? Nice ball, Xerxes. Oh, it's blocked again. 
Ah, oh, that's a poor pass from Rice. Just have to sort of big them up a bit. Got to be careful on the counter attack as well. Nice tackle, Perez. Sixty again. Ooh, no. Again, maybe the run of the green not quite going away. You can't rely on luck, but you need a little bit sometimes. Kind of need this ball to go out. Oop, I thought it was going to go out there. I sort of. Yep, shouldn't have. Uh, Jeremy thought that was out for a second. Should play at the whistle. As you can see again, he hasn't got too much support. Managed to get through to Vieira. Ah, is that offside? Ah, it is. We'll try and make some changes now. We are going to make some changes. We'll put Bjer on the right-hand side now, his favourite position probably. And we're going to bring on Castaldina and Harrington for Fabio Vieira and Carlos Perez. I say it's Bjer's favourite position, but he's it's not really, but he's been playing well there when he's come on. There we go, the subs are coming on, obviously we're taking two of our star players off, but got to bear in mind we've got a lot of matches, we have the extra time the other game, they're a little bit tired, and it's it's obviously not quite working today. I'd say Carlos Perez has had a fairly decent game, maybe the odd time he's made the wrong decision, um, but overall he's had a decent game, but just not getting that end product at the moment from anyone. 18 minutes left. Wanted to keep Xerxes on because he has looked a bit threatening. I think if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be him or maybe like Bajer from the left, uh, the right hand side. Now that he's been switched there. Nice ball from Rice. Now Bajer. Can Bajer get it? No, it's a poor pass. Just overhead. Again, like I say, our win backs just. You know, they're obviously trying, but they're just not the quality we need. Okay, and we'll lose out the ball. Houghton is quite a tall lad as well, I think. Uh, lots of bodies in midfield. Couldn't quite pass my way through it. Good tackle there. Now Xerxes, can he play someone in? Oh, that's a poor ball. God, we've only got 10 minutes left here. I was going to say nice tackle by our guys, but they've got it back. Got to be really careful. We don't, you know, we're thinking of getting the win, but for God's sake, do not uh, let in a goal. Our gas now. Ah, I was trying to play it. I wasn't trying to play it with Zerxy. I was trying to play it to, I think it was Castledean. I just I just held the button too long. That was my fault. He's got again. Ah, it's a poor pass though. Maybe getting a little bit desperate now. Time's running out. <laughs> Get a bit of lucky hits off of my own player's heel. Good tackle from Rice again. He's winning quite a few balls. Xerxes now. Oh, goes through the defender's leg. Could be a chance here. Yeah. Ah, he's just held on for it too long. Good tackle again. This from Sahoon. Rice, good ball. Castledean. Oh, he's held on to it too long. Oh, could be a counter here. This has got to be the last attack, surely. Oh, time's basically run out here. Rice, he's been really good. Can he put something in here? Bjer. Castledean, nice ball to share. Get in. Oh, what a goal that was! 94 minutes, two minutes over the uh, allowed stoppage time. And again, Rice started it there. Bjer, then Castledean, Zerxi, Zerxi played a really nice ball there. And Bjer hits it on the inside of the post. I said we haven't had much luck. I mean, that wasn't luck, but. On another day, that could have hit the post and bounced out. Look at that. Perfectly placed. Wonderful finish. 
and a wonderful finish to the match. And that should be the last kick there. They'll kick it off and that'll be the end of it. And it is. What a win that is. Really struggled to break them down. And like I say, putting Bajer on that right hand side, there's something about him. He just makes a difference. He's not technically a winger. His stats drop when he's over there, but just played so well. And there's the stats. Yeah, 60% possession. They only had one shot on target. We had plenty, but it was a very it was a struggle for most of the game. Got there in the end. And ratings, yeah, of course Bajer was gonna be man of match with winner, but I think he would have been anyway, regardless of that goal. Xerxes did play well. Um all round I think we played really well. It was just that killer instinct we just didn't have at some points. But yeah, once again, thank you very much for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed that exciting finish to the match. We are top for now, joint top with Levante. Really good game. I would have been disappointed with a nil nil if I'm honest, but got there in the end and a really, really exciting finish and you, you can't really ask for much more than that but if you did enjoy please hit that like button drop a comment down below and hit the subscribe button if you do want to be kept up to date the channel but hopefully i'll see you guys next time i think we're playing eyebar in the next match should be a good one let's hope we can keep this winning streak continuing cheers